1,200 people got the new one-dose Johnson & Johnson vaccine through an event hosted by Oxner Health at Mandeville's Pelican Park today. And it comes just about one year after the first COVID case was diagnosed on the North Shore. Paul Dudley spoke to someone surprised at how easy it all was, and it's also a big day for the staff giving out the shots too. You here for your vaccine? Yes, sir. A steady stream of cars filling the parking lot outside as a busy day unfolds inside. Tila Hayes says she was in and out in about 10 minutes. The only holdup was when she stopped to chat. It was exciting just to, to come and get the shot, to know that I was coming to get it, and it was quick, and I am scared of vaccination, but today those fears were put aside. The process is by design. I think what really matters is that the process is easy. The challenge is creating a seamless experience for 1,200 people as they get a shot in their arm. When it's organized and it's smooth, it allows you to feel comfortable getting it, as well as telling everybody else they should come get it. It's not easy, says Timothy Riddell with Oshner, but the staff here has learned a lot about how to adapt in the last year. Many people who are giving out the vaccines also suffered and struggled with patients in the ICU. For them to be part of saving those patients and now stopping the pandemic is really special for a lot of the people who work here. Tila Hayes is looking forward to seeing her loved ones again. Being around my grandbabies and not being fearful of passing anything on to them or their parents. And hopefully getting back to some sort of normal. A better normal. I don't know if it's going to be the same normal, but it's going to be better than it's been. It is still unclear when exactly there'll be another mass vaccination site like this on the North Shore, but in speaking with Parish President Mike Cooper, as well as doctors at Oshner, they say there will be more mass vaccination sites like this as soon as there is more supply. I'm Paul Dudley reporting Eyewitness News. Back to you.